Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. For today's video, let's talk pens. So, these pens, I'm sure some of you may know by the looks of it and some may not, but I just I was cleaning my desk and I found this six pens that I want to share with you briefly like um, I'm not gonna do a pen test with them they are already like three year old pens with me so these um, these pens I got from 2000 between 2017 18 or 19 before pandemic and I was before the pen enabled pandemic stuff so these were my first pens that I got by, uh, through AliExpress and I'm not gonna be able to link them down all now because I tried to search in my cart and I, I cannot find them anymore. But just a brief um, um, ex history or tell pen tale stories about these pens and how and why I got them. First, I got them for the price. They are almost like two dollar each, except for this. They are really really cheap, and that is. The start of my fountain pen curiosity let's say i i didn't really know more of the brands yet of how what's the purpose of fountain pen so i was just looking through it by its looks and so i got these pens to let's say when i was starting because i started hobonichi and heard of it a lot that is a fountain pen friendly ink so i got these pens without even buying inks <laughs> obviously i'm so innocent in all this stuff i just use the cartridge that comes with it so now i haven't opened it yet prior to this video i want to like open it with you guys and how how's the name how's everything now but as it is as i store them pardon me if it's is gross or what because I haven't cleaned this at all from the time I bought them I really don't care because it was just very cheap and I had more gel pens you know like this that is more pricey than that so I just put them away when I started uh, collecting I just want to test them in my um, Hobonichi papers books but initially they are all um, to me I haven't had the love of fountain pen yet so to me it was just like a normal pen that that doesn't dry fast and it's just a messy uh, blot there here and there so um, I didn't go through it at that time so let's first talk about this Jin Hao uh, X450 it's heavy it's metal and it's not comfortable to write what I know I heard about this pen before was um, or now you can change the name to a good see there is still ink let's see surprise surprise it's a good um, you can change it to a uh, like Goulet pens or whatever you can substitute the, the nib with so upon um, opening this let's see that -da, if there's ink germs so I actually ink this with something that is already dried up see I have to either clean this and give it away or sell it but I don't know who's interested to buy this but yeah the quality can you hear it it's really of metal and heavy I can't say it's premium but it didn't um, you know fade the gold over time so yeah maybe that's a good thing but the story with this is first when I opened this pen I stabbed myself into the like bleeding blood <laughs> so uh, i get a horror story of this like really um let me grab uh, my notepad and let's check if it's still writing after one or two years <laughs> of not using it so these are all china made pens that i didn't include in my fountain pen collection but it's no longer writing so yeah Oh, reverse one there's ink coming up but yeah maybe a little bit of flushing here and there and cleaning this would still do so not bad um, 
for Jin Hao again X450 so it's there it's still working and moving on to this hero pen 3019 I just love this for its look it's white and yeah not bad the gold is still gold <laughs> it didn't uh, tarnish at all and let's see oh my god can you see that molds and stuff that's why I'm scared to open it because of this um, Chinese pen you know inside it's just metal and this is also metal so yikes let's see if it will write but I can see some can you see that guys oh my god I don't know what is some granules there goodness again cartridge of what it has come with for sure it's already dried up so all these pens I will clean first and give it to my daughter maybe so this is the hero one no more not working anymore and I don't like to contaminate my other pens and inks with this so I put this separate pen case so this is no working not working and this is the hero 70 7050 so god knows what is going on here god knows what is this pen and why i was buying this before it's the gold version of that maybe peach color and i will i think i was using this for my weeks there is a little sparkle going on there diamond um yeah not diamond but crystals and this is a hooded nib so let's try again not working anymore so hero versus Jin Hao Jin Hao is still I think okay again another unknown cartridge and ink inside so these are all moldy and stuff I don't know if I can give this to my kid but yeah so far this so let's try again another Jin Hao X750 I think this was popular at some point and people just change it to another nib so it's bronze rose goldy type of color it's clean I think I have cleaned this so this must be good because I cleaned it <laughs> so no ink so yeah let's try it sometime this Jin Hao and next of the pocket pens this too this one is the moon man this is a bit pricey of all and it has a uh, ink ink um, all over it I think it has already gone bad I don't know why let me check it's a twist as well it's a cartridge so this was pocket pen that I wanted to give to my husband but it's too small I wanted to pen it with him and yeah it's a snap cut moon man um, I think I bought this without a cartridge or a converter that's why I was putting on some normal converter here and it didn't work it's um, leaking my favorite first gold steel nib like this this is really like very good um, eyedropper pen I think this was in trend before in the planner community wherein you just drop ink here and it can store a lot of ink not bad for to be fair for this um, I think this is also moon man the nib is very good the writing experience so it's really small it's not practical to write with but when you do the the, the posting and, and do the writing this is my favorite so this is one collector's item in the fountain pen planner community I think and I love the color and the design so yeah this was the most expensive among three and the smallest so these are all my china pen guys and I started with this for fun not for collecting purposes and eventually they are all forgotten and so yeah um, 
if you intend to buy or you have this kind of pens how's your experience let me know um, if which of these pens are worth keeping and worth throwing <laughs> but for sure this one I'm gonna keep because this is very good writer uh, it doesn't leak also even though it's um, what do you call this eyedropper filling so let me know if which one I'll throw <laughs> and which one I'll keep and also if you do have Jean House as such a this between this and this how did you change the nib um, share your thoughts and comments uh, in the comment section below I'd love to hear your experience as well so um, if you like this video guys please do give it a thumbs up uh, and subscribe for more um, contents as such and yeah see you in my next video bye